is the Power Gadgets app creator for Zen App. This is the tool you use to uh, create your applications that look great on mobile devices and even desktops. Uh, and then you would publish it with the uh, uh, corresponding presenter app that comes with it. So uh, you can see you can select different uh, data visualization types. You can have multiple slides or multiple components. Uh, and you can select the different devices that you're going to target this for to see how it will look. Uh, my suggestion is uh, start with the samples and uh, take a look at some of the options there. Uh, we've got a number of uh, samples pre-ready and uh, here for example you can see we're set up with a, uh, a Motorola Droid device with a financial application and uh, what you see is a number of uh, data elements here. Uh, these data elements are uh, visible. Uh, you can see the actual SQL query that creates that, uh, that data element. Uh, so as long as you're able to create a SQL uh, query or a web service or a PowerShell command, uh, you can create uh, great looking applications that, uh, that look like this. Uh, so let's see. Uh, here, here you see, for example, uh, uh, stock, we can go and look to see what the query was there. And again, it doesn't have to be complex, and uh, Power Gadgets uh, does the rest of it for you. Uh, what you can also do is uh, manipulate the app uh, so that you see different views. How's it going to look, portrait or landscape, if that's relevant? Uh, you can also go in and say, I want to see uh, how's this going to look, for example, on a uh, Blackberry Storm. Uh, similarly, I can go in there, rotate it, uh, see how's this going to look like on an iPhone. Uh, there you go. So, uh, best thing to do is just start uh, experimenting, uh, look at the samples. Uh, if you look across the top here, uh, for example, let me show you how easy it is to uh, add a new uh, data element. So, let's say I want to add a horizontal gauge. And there you go, we've got a horizontal gauge that is now added to the application, uh, and it's that simple. Uh, what I want to do here, though, is move it because I want that text at the bottom. So let's just drag it up here. And uh, there we are. So we've now moved the horizontal gauge. Uh, the text is back at the bottom. Let's say I want to change the text there. I want to say, it says next up, I go over here, and I want to change that to And you can see we just changed next up to next page. And it's really that simple. If I want to go now assign the data element for this, uh, this piece of information that's uh, now part of my app, I would say uh, data, choose data source. And again, I can use PowerShell, I can use SQL, I can use a web service. Uh, within SQL, I can... Uh, identify the server. Uh, it's got the mechanism to log on to the server and to save the, uh, the passwords. Uh, it doesn't uh, only require SQL. It could be Access. It could be uh, any ODBC. Uh, again, uh, a lot of flexibility for uh, including the information that you want to display and then Power Gadgets does the rest. Uh, so, uh, over on the left-hand side, what you see you know, are what's referred to as slides, just like you would put a slide deck together for, uh, for PowerPoint. Uh, you can now do that for this, uh, this mobile application that you're building. Um, so let's take a look at some of these applications, what they actually look like. Um, so the financial app, for example, we were just looking at. Uh, there it is. And uh, you then get a uh, title bar across the top that allows you to, uh, to navigate uh, through the application. Uh, you can uh, go in and look at some of the other applications we've got built here. Uh, let's see, pick an IT application. So as you can see, uh, what you've got are uh, gadgets, in this case, uh, running on uh, Zen app for a mobile application. 
you can also run them on your desktop, and uh, in fact, they uh, they look very good there as well. Uh, you can publish them to anybody through uh, through ZenApp, and uh, you can define them to uh, look great on any uh, any mobile device uh, that you've got, uh, as long as it's got Citrix Receiver. So. Uh, my uh, recommendation is uh, download the, uh, the, the Power Gadget Creator and uh, try it out.